Who am I? My name is Stephen Rush and I'm still squirming from the last video I recorded just moments ago. This is going to be the second of three videos I'm going to be recording straight after another. This one, I have got three. This is a mystery, by the way. I don't know what I'm going to talk about and I'm not going to make it obvious what this video is about once I've finished it. There are three. I've got three to pick and I'm going to read them out and then decide to do one of them. So, 29. I don't like people saying no to me. Friends, potential coaching clients, women. That kind of sounds like the video I've just done. 27. I don't like feeling uncomfortable. This is a new one. I don't like arguments. I don't like hand, bad handwriting. I don't like conflicts. I don't like disagreements. Okay. Done the people saying no kind of. This argument's uncomfortable. I'm going to do this. I don't like arguments. I don't like conflicts. I don't like disagreements. That's what I'm going to be talking about in the next kind of eight or so minutes. Interesting. Now I picked these three because they felt important to me, like I needed to talk about them. Because I've got this random bag and some of them are a bit more trivial than others. The first video about not finding it uncomfortable talking to women I find attractive. Even though it was really uncomfortable to do as a video, it's not a big thing really. These are more, these feel more significant. Especially, I don't like arguments, I don't like conflicts, I don't like disagreements. Which, in brackets, could be, I don't like feeling uncomfortable. Because it feels uncomfortable. Sometimes it feels like the end of my world. It feels like there's no safety, you know. And you know, like I'm almost like that, the little boy, the little boy. And, oh, this, you know, it's, it, I, I kind of go back to that and it's like, ah. Oh. And yet, when I was a teenager, and in 20-something, I was kind of one of those annoying argumentative types and I used to argue to understand. I did used to argue to understand I was an annoying argumentative type. And now I'm, a, I'm still, I'm a pedant and I'm, I might still kind of have an argumentative nature out of curiosity, but it's not really, it doesn't really come from trying to make me right and you wrong. Um, it's much less about ego, but in my twenties, I was argumentative. Now I keep my mouth shut. Some part of it, more often than not, some part of it feels like wisdom and some part of it feels like conflict avoidance. But very interestingly, when I avoid the conflict there with you, or the other, guess what happens? It happens inside me. Why are you not speaking up? Tell him what you think, tell her what you think. She's wrong. It's not like that. That's not the full picture. Say it like this, say it like that. Speak up. But if I do speak up, I might be wrong. I don't want to be wrong. I don't, or I don't want to be a typical man with a typical attitude. I don't want to be predictable. Irrespective of what happens, the conflict appears. So, interestingly, I am unable to avoid the conflict. I've noticed. And I'm, there's a sort of conflict going on in me at the moment. Because this feels too analytical.
there's 7.5 billion people on the planet. I have not met. I have met hardly none of you. I have this desire to get on with, to see the best of, to be seen, to belong, to share. I don't know where that comes from. Maybe it's how these characters we call human beings work. For the purpose of this video, or this series of videos, I don't like arguments, I don't like conflicts, I don't like disagreements. I think that thought, or those thoughts, stop me from doing things in my life. I think I need to like arguments, I need to like conflict, I need to like disagreement. What I've noticed in recording these videos is that I could like arguments, disagreements and conflicts. I could. I could like it. It's possible. It is a possibility. What I've also noticed is that I am creating the argument, the conflict, the disagreement. I know there are people that will say, I think this, I think that. You're wrong. You're wrong. That is just a healthy exchange to them. There is no argument. There is no conflict. There's no disagreement. There is just a way of learning about the other person. I create the argument. I create the conflict. I create the disagreement. I give it a negative meaning. I could give it a positive meaning. What I've also noticed is this. I do what I do. I go this way, I go that way. I record videos like this. I don't record videos like this. I write blog posts, I don't write blog posts. I create products, people buy them. I create products, people don't buy them. I have a relationship for a few years and it ends. I have a relationship a lot for a full-time relationship. I mean, a, you know, a long-term relationship. It doesn't end. I have clients. I don't have clients. I connect. I don't connect. I get it right. I don't get it right. I do this. I do that. I do something. I just do. I'm doing. I'm being every moment. I do things. And then I add the commentary afterwards. Oh, that's because you don't like talking to women that you don't know. Oh, that's because you don't like disagreements. Oh, that's because you don't like being criticized. Oh, that's because you don't like feeling uncomfortable. But all that commentary is after the event and is really an activity of ego making itself real, telling me what's going on. But the fact of the matter is, I do stuff, you do stuff. And sometimes it makes sense and sometimes it doesn't. But the, the, the reason why, or the, the commentary, is not necessary. So, really interestingly, I'm recording this video, and the, the first video, I've really felt a conflict 
inside me, I felt disturbed, I felt uncomfortable, I felt uncomfortable. My time's up, again. How interesting. Who am I? I'm someone that likes to talk about himself, maybe too much. I'm someone who thinks he knows who he is and is mistaken. I am not who I think I am and you are not who you think you are. What are the personal qualities you really identify with. I encourage you to ask yourself gently or sternly, is it really true? Thanks for watching this video, the third video coming up now. Bye bye.